Uh, China PNG relationship is very old. At 1975, the party that I led, as part of its its uh, foreign policy outlook, made two fundamental statements. One, Papua New Guinea will be friends to all enemies to none. And second question, more so in relation to China, was the respect of China's sovereignty as it is declaring the one China policy. And so that was Pangu Party policy at 1975. That is Pangu Party policy at 2022. That is why we're here today. China is a very important global leader. It leads in the area of trade, it leads in the area of business, it leads in the area of uh, uh, politics. And so for Papua New Guinea, we don't want to offset the tempo, temp, the tempo we have with all our relationships placed in the middle of the east and west, placed in the middle of the north and south, placed in the middle of Pacific and Asia, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, without compromising our own specific aspect of our bilateral relationships we have with each nation. Uh, we maintain an approach of being friends to all enemies to not at government to government, at business to business, and at people to people level. And that is a good place to be. As a Christian country, our outlook will be all people, irrespective of your religion, your, uh, your tribe, your ethnicity, your background. By God's grace, through the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, every human being are the same. And we treat everyone equal. That has been the deep, intrinsic foreign policy of our country. It remains so today, and I am here not to dilute or take that away. I am here to ensure that it is maintained and strengthened. And in that context, coming closer, or coming home to PNG-China relationship, it is very, very important relationship with Papua New Guinea. China is an important bilateral relationship. China is an important trading relationship. China is an important exporter of skill, workforce, capital, and producers into PNG. Likewise, PNG also exports our producers into China, and we'd like to strengthen it from where we are today to the next level. And those government-to-government -government relationship and pronouncements cannot be more so if we do not have people-to-people -people exchanges and business-to-business -business exchanges. And on this note, I am here to come and say thank you all the Chinese businesses and enterprises who have been operating in our country, whether you are a state business or you are a private business, whether you are a big business or a small business, whether you are a client of the government of Papua New Guinea or a private sector business. Nonetheless, if you are a member of the Chinese Enterprise Association or if you are affiliate or if you are already in here doing business, uh, we say thank you for your presence in our country. Thank you for your continuous support in the economy. Thank you for paying your fair share of taxes. For that, I am here tonight to give respect to each and every one of you. You may not see me every time in uh, occasions like this with you, but that doesn't mean I'm far off. Papua New Guinea is not south, it's not west, it's not north, it's not east. Papua New Guinea is here. Friends to all, enemies to none. I made a statement once, somewhere, that someone else's enemy is not my enemy. Uh, that's a statement that uh, will carry on into time. And we are here to work. For those of you here, in, in case you do not know some facts, let me read you some statistics. Great Britain, Great Britain has a land size of 209,331 kilometers square. Japan has a size of 337,915 kilometers square. New Zealand has a size of 268,021 kilometers square, square kilometers. Philippines, a nation of 110 million people, has a land size of 300,000 square kilometers. South Korea, a big G20 economy has a land size of 100,000 
210 square kilometer. Papua New Guinea has, guess what? It's bigger than all of them by land size. <laughs> Governor here, your country has 462,840 square kilometers of land. Land size. And unlike Philippines, with only 300,000 square kilometers with 110 million people, meaning land shortage, possibly food shortage into time. PNG is within close proximity to a big market in the Asian countries. When I talk about Asia, I mean the Korean Peninsula. I mean Japanese territories. I mean the entire Chinese territory that has over 1.4 million people. I just push further west, I include uh, India, a very close bilateral partner of PNG that has over 1.3 billion people plus. These people are within reach, the market is within reach. Papua New Guinea has very warm cordial bilateral relationships with all Asian countries, all Pacific countries including Australia and New Zealand and USA. Our relationships with nations around us, embodied in the APEC uh, family of nations, as well as in the ASEAN family of nations, and our own bilateral relationships closer to home in the Asia Pacific region, as well as into Europe, places Papua New Guinea in a very strategic point of manufacturing and export and business for business people who want to be part of us now and into the future. Our link to market is endless. Whether it is you all participating in our downstream processing effort in converting our natural producers into finished product to export, and as you make that, make that migration into downstream processing, the current production and ramping up production to export to these markets closer to them. And for you Chinese businesses here, you have your own market to the 1.4 billion people much easier, closer at your fingertips. The reason why I'm making this statement is simple. I want you, and I'm here tonight, to continue on to encourage you. Don't pack up and leave. You've been here with us. Get down, entrench yourself, diversify your business, incubate other locals, the local SMEs with you, grow them up together with you. They become your project partners, project security. Pay your dues, pay your taxes, and follow the laws of our country. Stay here, let's do more business and export to your own country in China as well as to the Asian marketplace and the world because we have strategic link to all markets that PNG is connected with. And so for Chinese enterprises who are here tonight, thank you all for your service to Papua New Guinea. Last three years when I, was, uh, when I came into office, we tried to clean up a lot of backlogs most of you are contractors who state, you know very well how the backlogs were you know, piling up. Uh, the previous government, which I was also part of, issued contracts, never paid. The state component never paid some of the uh, outstanding that was due. In the last three years, we were trying to clean them up, and we're still cleaning them up as we go along. Uh, and so we have been supporting businesses in our country with no discrimination, whether you're a Asian business or your Western business or your Papua New Guinea business, so long as you operate at your space and especially foreign businesses, we have cap limits. 10 million and above, everyone has a right to bid for it. 10 million and below, especially reserved for local businesses. And so in the space, I just want to say thank you to the Chinese enterprise and the businesses who've been operating here. You've also had a fair bid in all our projects. Some have been successful, some have not been successful through the process where government contracts are issued. For those that have been successful, my own government has also issued contracts uh, with no discrimination based on the merit of those tenders that has come through. And uh, we are studying, and you would have seen few of you who are Chinese contractors have also featured prom prominently in some of the contracts that we have been giving out. I want you to remain focused at work and incubate, I repeat, as I said earlier, incubate 
local SMEs with you. Uh, they are your security. They are our combined security. When the locals are also engaged, you are happy, I am happy, all of us are happy as we work through. And I just want to encourage, as I conclude, keep on maintaining your address here, work and incubate local SMEs with you. Uh, as you all have been, continue on keeping the laws of our country. We will be fair on everyone with no discrimination as Christians should be. Uh, we Christians maintain an outlook of being friends to all and not being selective or not being discriminatory. And so Chinese enterprises here in our country, under my words or any other words into the future, uh, will not experience any discrimination whatsoever. Uh, you are operating in a fair place. In fact, our own history with Chinese enterprises is date back over 100 years, if some of you do not know this fact. Uh, you all know uh, one of the fathers of our country, Sir Julius Chain, his own family through the Chinese side arrived in the late 1800s. They arrived, they stayed in New Ireland, they stayed in East New Britain in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Uh, they were an important part of the enterprise system in our country that started the businesses in, in those times. And uh, I'll tell you one story before I sit down. Uh, one time in Brisbane, I was with, uh, with, with some, some uh, friend. We were sitting and, uh, and he, there was an elderly lady on the other side, full Chinese looking elderly lady on the other side. And my friend, for some reason, he was very angry and he was using foul words. And suddenly the elderly Chinese looking lady got up and spoke in very fluent rabal pidgin, one more pidgin. I took no one talk, no get talk, no good. <laughs> I, got, I got a shock of my life. And I sincerely apologize to her, and we sincerely apologize. And then she said, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a Papua New Guinean from Rabaul, and I'm here after the explosions, uh, volcanic explosions in, uh, in 1994. So we have a long history, people to people, business to business, and of course, uh, government to government, 47 years on, going stronger, let me uh, say thank you, Ambassador. Can you appreciate your office for facilitating our meeting with uh, His Excellency President Xi Jinping uh, in, in uh, the margins of APEC? It was a high honor for Papua New Guinea to meet the leader of uh, the biggest nation on planet Earth. But he brought himself down. He was very kind. He was very warm. And one thing that he concluded was the Chinese market is endless. Whatever you produce, I will buy. Whatever you produce, we can buy. Our land size is bigger than all the other established economies that I read through earlier. You're already here with me. Don't pack up and leave. Don't just get engaged in one aspect of business. Look around, pick a local business partner, partner us, move into the downstream space, work with us, we will together grow PNG. We will together export our produces to China and elsewhere. I am sure in Papua New Guinea, investors have made their fair share of return on investment to their shareholders. Those of you already here, stay with me. Let's work, invest more in our country, export back to China and elsewhere. And together, your sellers grow, PNG grow, we all grow together. God bless Chinese Enterprise Association in Papua New Guinea. God bless the Chinese people and, and uh, China as a country. God bless Papua New Guinea. And I wish you all a safe, festive period. I took uh, a special interest, the appeal to make PNG safer. We're now investing substantially in the law and justice sector in next year's budget. We've invested bigger than ever before. A big allocation to police, a big allocation to uh, magistrate and judges. Uh, we're recruiting 20 more new judges. We're empowering magistrates to work better uh, as we work in other sectors, including roads and education and health. And, uh, law and order receives a special focus for us in the next three, four years. We'll ramp up investment in the law and order space so that you can be safer. And if you're safer, I want you to find me extended business 
opportunities in Papua New Guinea. Governor C. A. is here, go to him. Forest Minister is here, go to him. Uh, find a business where you have diversified your existing business to a new business. And for me, if you tell me you're into downstream, you satisfy me. And uh, we could together produce to export to the Chinese marketplace. God bless each and every one of you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.